Hello, welcome. I have returned. I was just on vacation for almost two weeks and then I got back and I got sick. Uh, and a bunch of other stuff happened. So sorry for the few days of no videos. I goofed up, but can we give another round of applause to Justin for editing all of the content and doing all the thumbnails while I was gone? What a gem, what a joy. Let's give him some good vibes in chat. Now, a while ago, when was this? November 12th? It was exactly a month ago. Cool. I tweeted, give me your favorite slang slash sayings from your hometown and country, and then also include what it means, please. This was a few days before I left for vacation, uh, but I was on vacation in North Carolina with my girlfriend because that's where she grew up, and I was thinking about of like slang uh, from different places. Like in Maine, we say bub a lot. We say baba a lot. I think this came up in conversation with, uh, I was talking to some people and I was talking about how me and my friends used to go up to his camp during the summer, which in Maine, a camp is basically like a cabin or a cottage on a lake usually. Um, and people were like, what? Your friend owned a summer camp? And I was like, no, that's just what we call it. So that got me thinking about this as well. Let's see what you guys got. Her insurance could not cover this medical procedure. That's just the US, I think, in general. What do you yet? What do you yet, bae? What? Captain Sauce. Sauce lives, I think, in... I think, like, near Newfoundland or something like that. In Canada somewhere. What do you yet? What? Stay where you are till I comes to where... Stay where you're at till I comes where you're to. Jesus, this is gonna be fucking horrendous for my <laughs> dyslexia. Large Jesus, it's colder than a witch's tit out. This sounds also like Irish. <laughs> okay, what are you doing? Stay where you are until I arrive. It's cold outside. What are you doing? What are you yet, bae? Okay, that sounds like where are you at? And this is stay where uh, that one I could figure out and then it's pulled out. So, yeah in Pittsburgh Sometimes in Erie people say yins instead of y'all yins. I've never heard that yins guys gonna see that stillers nat What the fuck Brian? I didn't know that you spoke two languages don't know if this is distinctly Ohio thing but because of my Ohio and mom I Run the sweeper and go to the grocery which are apparently very strange thing to say in Massachusetts yeah, run the sweeper, I get. We never called it a sweeper in my house, we call it a vacuum. Okay, here's a question. The remote, like a remote control for a TV. I always just called it a remote. Do you call it a remote? Do you call it a clicker? Also, my favorite slang from when I lived in Canada was going out for a rip, which is just maple syrup for taking a drive. Yeah, we had going out for a rip was also like smoking a cigarette too, like I'm gonna go have a rip. I'm not here to fuck spiders. A lot of here, she's from Australia. I. I don't know what the hell that means. I think it's like, I'm not gonna, what does that mean? I'm not here to fuck spiders. I think it's like, I'm not, I'm not gonna fuck around, I think. Not here to fuck around, okay, yeah. Bunny hug? This is a soft boy bunny hug? Oh, a bunny hug is a hoodie? By the way, go to crankybuzz.com and do get a new merch. A bunny hug? I've never heard it be called a bunny hug. Why is YouTube over? Hold on. YouTube has been over for a while. Is it because of YouTube Rewind? Oh no, it's because, it's because of the new shit. It doesn't matter. Whose coat's that jacket? Basically saying whose coat is that, but we're confused, yeah. A jacket and a coat are kind of the same thing, aren't they? I mean, a coat, I feel like, is more of a wintry thing, and a jacket is more of like a fall wear, like a like a bomber jacket or like a like a leather jacket. Also, isn't mint a thing that a lot of people are saying now? But I I always knew mint was like a thing that they said in the UK, and I've I've heard that people from the UK think it's super cringy when people from the US say like, hey, that's mint. Chloe is the rudest girl I know, but still has a boyfriend. Freaking mint. That's not your word, okay? That's not your word. Aw, oh, sweetie, bless your heart. <laughs> that's like a that's like a big southern thing for sure. You could say it for real, but it also is like, fuck you, you illiterate dumbass. <laughs> now we're sucking diesel. Ellen, I think Ellen's from Irish, I'm pretty sure. Now we're sucking diesel. We're moving, making progress. Throwing shapes? What? So at like a dance, would you say like, hey, do you want to go throw shapes with me? <laughs> That's weird. How's she cutting? How's it going? Ireland is a beautiful country, I swear. Pack the kind, have it, yad. Straight up Boston. There we go. Boston and Maine are pretty similar, actually, because they, the, uh, the R's in like, in especially Northern Maine don't exist. It's just all Harvey Weinstein. The Ka, Harvard, Yad. 
Hey there, Baba. Ripper, really great. Bloody Ripper, really, really great. Rip Snorter, fantastic. A Rip Snorter, damn, dude. What's up, Pifting? I hope people aren't making me say anything bad by accident. Being an onion means being greedy in an opportunistic way, usually saving yourself some money and taking shortcuts with little effort. Huh, being an onion. See, the opposite of that would be being a lemon. You know, this car's a real lemon. It's just sucking me dry of all my hard-earned coin. Wagwan Pifting. Ping, what's your BBM pin? What the fuck does that mean? In Georgia, a shopping cart is called a buggy. Oh, what is a shopping cart called where you're from? Let me know in the comments of all of these things. Shopping cart, I usually just call it a cart or a shopping cart, but some people call it a buggy. I know some people call it a trolley. Meet me at the satellites. Fight me behind the school by the, by the satellites in the forest, usually at three. This is made up. That's too specific. I don't believe it. Yeah, no. Yes, I agree with you. I wasn't gonna... Yeah, I always say yeah, no. No, yeah is sure, yeah, no. See, it's tough. This is why it's so hard for people to learn English. Like, learn English and know, like, the slang and stuff because it's so fucking confusing. Because it's like, yeah, no, I'll do that. Which is, yes, I will do it. It also depends on how you say it. Because it's if you're like, yeah, no, I'll do that. Yes. Yeah, no, I'll do that. Wait, if you say, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. It depends on your inflection. I hella say hella. That's a very California thing. Ugh. California slang. Here we go. How well do you know California slang? If a Californian were to ask you to bail, what the, what might they be asking you to do? Uh, leave where you're at. To many people in California, Jennifer Lawrence is considered to be a bomby. What does that say about Jennifer? She's rude. She's attractive. She's outspoken. Uh, attractive. If a Californian were to ask you to bum something for you, what do they want? They want a. They want to borrow something. Your friends accuse you of claiming it. What are you doing? Claiming it? Bragging, maybe? In California, if something is dank, <laughs> yeah, dude, it's good. In California, if something is claimed to be heavy, what is it actually? Uh, sad. In California, if you post up, what are you doing? Mailing a letter, standing in line, standing along a wall. Standing along a wall, I think. If a Californian puts something, someone on blast, what are they doing? This is also like internet slang a little bit too. Uh, helping them, making them, making them over? No, making fun of them. If you're rocking, your outfit in California, what are you doing? Awesome, put it together, a bit basic. Rocking is awesome. When something unexpectedly happens in a situation, Californians refer to this as a clutch, a bang, a grab. Something unexpected? That came in clutch. I'll say clutch. Okay, 11 out of 12, second to last one. Something is tubular, nobody uses this. This is very good though. Someone uses the phrase for days in California. What length, a few days in the future, years ago, it's years ago. Calculating. What did I get? What did I get? How long have I lived in California? 12! A plus California dream and I know my shit, dude! Oh, everyone from the Northeast is disappointed in me. Okay, hold on. Only a true local can ace this ultimate main slang test. Okay, okay, let's do it. I might dishonor my entire family. If you're booking it, what are you doing? You're hurrying. What does a mainer mean when they say chapta? Uh, it's what are you up to? Like, what are you doing? How would a Maine native describe something that's cute? That's preaching, that's cunning, that's cunning. What does it mean if you get in a Guam? I've never heard that. Uh, I'll say you've gotten in trouble. If you're having some bed lunches, you're actually having vivid dreams, terrible pain, a midnight snack. I've never heard this either. I'm from Southern Maine also, which the slang isn't as heavy there. I'll say a midnight snack. What does a culch mean? Don't know what that is either. A bird bath? What else could you say catch a buzz on? Uh, get drunk. After a big snowstorm, you'd say that the roads are dirty, melty, greasy. Greasy, I think. If your friend is going out in the willy wax, they're headed to the country. The willy, I've never heard that. What does it mean to kite? Keef, kife? I have never heard that ever. What's a bug to a Maine native catching a flu? If your friend is being Gami, what are they really being? Angry. Ordering in Italian is the same as ordering what? Uh, pasta. Steamers are also known as steamers or fuck. Are steamers clams or oysters? I think they're oysters. Mainers don't get sick, they get ill. Which of the following is used as an adverb similar to very? 
Hecka? Nobody says Hecka. What else would you call a little kid? Oh God, a calf, an ankle biter. What is a prayer handle? Pot of soup? I don't know. Calculating your results. Oh God, I'm afraid, I'm afraid. 100% Savage Mane Lingo! Guys, I'm a true Mainer. I'm a true California, sure. Wow, way to go. You are a Mainer and proud of it. You love drinking Moxie. I fucking hate Moxie. And your L.L. Bean flannel and duck boots while ordering some fine lobster from the best seafood places in town. You were born and bred in this beautiful state. You know, I'm every slang or definition of Maine dictionary. You are a true Mainer. I am a true Mainer, yes. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end this here. Thank you so much for contributing your slang terms. Uh, appreciate it. Let me know all of your slang down in the comments below. Uh, thank you so much, Baba. I'll see you later. All right, bye bye.